Here I have my uh, latest electric I'm working on. This one's gonna be called Stanley. You can maybe figure out why. And I'm gonna take a 5 16 inch. There we go, nice and focused. 5 16 inch bell hanger bit, they call it. And I have it in my electric drill. And what I need to be able to do is connect this pickup pocket, my neck, my neck pickup, to my bridge pickup, which then both sets of those wires will eventually go into my electronics cavity, my electronics pocket. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one right here. And if we have this notched out, it makes life really easy. I'm gonna lay the bit on my neck pocket and I'm gonna start off slow, especially cause I have maple um, for a large part of this body. And I'm gonna withdraw the bit frequently to cool it and clear the chips. And it doesn't really matter up and down, except I don't wanna be tilted up and then it comes out up here. That would be obviously bad. So I'm just gonna go kind of nice and slow to start. As we talk about the holes that you need to drill in your guitar body, one of the trickiest ones or most important ones is one of the first ones you do. And that is over here. And that's gonna be where your output jack comes out of your electronics cavity and will be able to be mounted, which then you plug into your amp. To do that, we're gonna use a three quarter inch Forstner bit. You could also use a spade bit if you want. That might uh, be a little bit easier. A Forstner bit is usually what's in the stem guitar kits um, or what's in the classroom, but just double check. Either way, should be fine. And the question becomes, where do I put it? Well, when I look at it this way, it should be centered. So you can measure that and mark it. Obviously, that's not very hard to do. But as I look at it in the back here, it's also nice sometimes to not have a lot of meat. Now, on this shape, this is kind of a Telecaster shape, I would probably end up putting it right here, which is also where there's a lot of meat. So if you can avoid it, you can, but if not, don't stress about that. The other thing we wanna think about is that we're gonna take that extra long bell hanger bit and we're gonna come up through there and we're gonna drill a hole that connects the electronics pocket to our uh, bridge pickup pocket. So I also need to think about that. So again, down here is probably gonna be good. Whereas if I do something like this, it's gonna be tough angle. Just like if I'm way down here, it might be a tough angle. So just keep that in mind. If you're not sure, ask your teacher, obviously they can help you out with that. Let's start talking about exactly where this is gonna go and measuring it. So if I take a ruler, here I have a combination square. It should be about one and three quarters inch thick. Half of that is seven eighths. Speaking of seven eighths, in our previous video, I said that the drill bit we're gonna use is three quarter. It's actually gonna be seven eighths. So I'm sorry about that uh, little misstep there. But I have my body in my guitar vise. And what I'm gonna try and do is make it that that hole is gonna be kind of parallel to my floor. If anything, maybe drilling a slightly down. I don't wanna be doing something like this. That's just gonna make my life that much harder. So somewhere in here is where I'm gonna end up putting that. So what I'm gonna do is I now have this set at seven eighths and I'm just gonna draw a line up and down my body there to have an idea uh, side to side where the center line is. And that looks pretty good. Now, along that center line, where exactly am I gonna put it? And I have one of the spring-loaded center punches here. You can also use the kind you would use with a mallet. That's not a big problem. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at it from this direction right now with my eyes for again, that long hole that we're gonna need to drill. And right about in here looks pretty good. Okay, so I now have that center punch and you can see that little divot that it made. All right, so I have my seven eighths inch Forstner bit. Remember you could use a spade bit if you want. Have it chucked up here in my electric drill. You can use a battery-operated one. This one's just pretty nice to use. 
and I'm going to tilt this a little bit more. Again, I want to be able to, if I can, have my drill parallel to the floor. I have much more control over that. So I'm going to take the center, that little brad point, put in that divot that I made. And I start working my way. One of the things to keep in mind is, again, this is maple, so this is going to be tough to do. I need to withdraw that bit and clear those chips out, give the wood a chance to cool, but also give this a chance to cool. It will get very hot because it has some friction. The other thing is I can take the drill and kind of rock it back and forth. And if you want, you can turn it into a little dance like Professor Tim used to teach us where you're getting your knees into it and such, and that can help. You just don't want to be plowing in and out. Do a little wobble to it. It's going to be okay because you're not going to see any of this anyway. to drill is going to go through that 7 8 inch jack hole and it's going to connect our electronics pocket to our uh, bridge pickup pocket. So remember earlier we connected these two pockets. So just imagine the wires coming off your neck pickup are going to go through that hole down into here and now need to get into that electronics pocket so you control them with your switch and knobs. Also the wires from this pickup need to get down in there. So that's what we're gonna do here. I have this laying down. This is one of the ways you can do this. The way I originally learned was this is up on its edge in one of the guitar vices. So there's multiple ways that you can do this. We are going to use that bell hanger bit that we had before. And it doesn't matter a whole lot how you do this, except in one way. We don't want it angled up and coming through the front of our guitar. That would be a huge problem. Likewise, if I have it tilted down and it were to come out the back, that would be bad, but at least it's the back. But in terms of this way, not a huge thing to stress about. The one issue with doing it this way is I can't really see what I'm going against in the wall of that electronics pocket. So that is a downside to doing it this way. If it's super curved, it's going to be tough to start this drill. So you may need to um, start it with a center punch. So I have started it. And just for the benefit of the video, let's unclamp this and let's look at what that hole looks like at this point. So here it is here, started. So I went through here and it's starting there and I'm shooting to come out into this pocket again, not out the top. In the hundred guitars or so that I've supervised being built either by adults or students, it has happened twice. So it can happen, but it is pretty rare. And I think maybe one time had someone where it came out the back. So if you say three out of 100, 3%, pretty good odds, but it should be 100% that it doesn't happen. So just take your time, obviously, like everything, ask your teacher if you need help. Just like any other hole that you drill, in and out, clear those chips, cool that bit off. <clears throat> now 
There's my hole. I couldn't do this any better if I tried. I mean, that is like exactly how we want it. So I'm glad we got it on video to show that I at least did it once perfect. Mr. Aikens, Mr. Hunt are somewhere out there proud of their, of their student here. Can it come out over here? Sure. Can it come out over here? Absolutely. But the nice thing is that it's almost flush with the bottom of this pocket for those wires. If it wasn't, it would not be a big deal. If it was up here a little bit more, that would still work. Let's unclamp this again and just take a look at what this is actually doing. Imagine our wires are coming through there and now they're gonna come out now into here and into our pocket. The next hole that we're gonna drill is for a ground wire that's gonna go from this pocket up through the body and underneath our hardtail style bridge. This ensures that our guitar is grounded and gives us uh, some safety and proper workings within that. Now, we have our six uh, string holes. You might already have holes for your bridge to mount as well, but we need a bridge. It doesn't have to be the exact one from you. It might be one that your teacher has out in the classroom but at least it's the same style bridge and we are going to line up our string holes so they match through the holes that are in your bridge so these six holes are where your strings are going to go through these five are how the bridge gets mounted to the guitar body itself so we line these up okay now, I'm gonna take some tape. I wouldn't use like a duct tape, maybe painter's tape or masking tape is fine. I'm just gonna put this back here and that helps me know where the back of the bridge sits. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the piece here at the front of the bridge. Okay, now I know where my bridge is sitting. The next thing I'm gonna do is put a piece of tape here, kind of the in-between. So the bridge sits between these two pieces, but then I'm gonna put this here to help cover that. And then I can even put another piece like right there. And what that's gonna do is help for when the chuck of my drill is spinning, if I get too low, it's gonna hit the tape and, instead of just hitting the body. Now, this ground wire, we don't want it in the center of the bridge because this is actually indented right here. So we want the ground wi wire either over here or over here. In this case, I'm gonna have it that it's gonna be over here because of where the tape is sitting. Now, this piece of tape, what is that showing me? That's showing me this edge of the tape is the top edge of my bridge. So the hole I'm about to drill has to be below the tape because the tape you're going to see later on. So I'm going to come above my string holes and I'm just going to go down a little bit. And that's almost going to make a pocket that now I start the drill and I can start tilting it a little. And you can see how it came out in the pocket there. Now I'm able to feed a ground wire from here, which is gonna be coming from the electronics pocket. So instead of wires running that way, it's gonna be coming up. It's gonna go into that hole and then out up here. And later on, we'll see how we fray out the wires and mount that underneath our bridge. So the big key is that I have it in a good location. It's not going to be seen it's underneath the bridge and when I was drilling I didn't let the drill the bottom of the chunk hit the guitar body.